Hello everyone, uh, this is now the sixth video, so it's the first one of the second week um, and I've got a new kind of puzzle to introduce today, uh, really looking forward to getting to that. Um, just to explain, as the videos go on, we'll keep going back to things that we've done before to really help you to remember all those things that you've learned and to see how they're all linked. So some of the skills that we'll work on today uh, developed from some of the videos before, so I hope you'll see how that happens. So we'll start off by going back over some of those skills and then we're going to introduce a new a puzzle. You're going to love it. Let's get going. So one of the skills we've been working on has been adding three different numbers. We did it in the very first video, the consecutive numbers challenge, and we actually did it in the next task, the three numbers challenge, and some great examples of work and ways to unpick those questions shown already. Um, now that's a skill you're going to need for today's task and so we're going to have a bit of a practice before we get into the main task. Let's have a look at this question. Three single digit numbers have a sum of 12. Two of the numbers are the same. What could the numbers be? Hmm. Have a look at these responses. Are they correct or are they incorrect? Pause the video and see if you can explain why. Well, let's have a little look. The top two examples are correct, the bottom two are incorrect. Well, the yet yeah, double three is six and add another six, that's 12. And here, double five is 10, add a two, that's 12. What's wrong with the bottom left one? Well, of course, that isn't a single digit number. The 10 is a two digit number. Three and four and six, well, none of those numbers are the same. Here's your challenge. Three single digit numbers have a sum of 16. Two of the numbers are the same. What could the numbers be? See if you can find an answer or maybe some answers, or maybe you'll be able to find how many ways this question can be answered. Pause the video, have a few minutes and see what you can find. Okay, let's have a look at some, some not just some solutions, I should in fact say, all the ways it can be answered. Well, my first answer was four plus four plus eight. Now I didn't do three plus three because then I'd have to add 10. And of course that's not a single digit number. So my first answer, four plus four plus eight. Then to have a system, I, I then look at the number which where, where it's the same number and I increase it by one. So instead of four plus four, I go for five plus five plus six. And then in my system, I have six plus six, which is 12 plus four, 16. And then my last one, seven plus seven plus two. Maybe you went for eight plus eight plus zero. I guess I could just about give you that one as well. So how many ways? Well, there's four answers. Maybe we'll count that fifth one as well. Okay, so shape puzzles part one. Uh, really looking forward to the challenges that we're gonna get to. And we're gonna use some of the addition and subtraction skills that we've been building. Uh, over the previous videos. Uh, so here goes. Um, each shape stands for a number. So the cross stands for a number and the oval stands for a number. So to start off with, pause the video and what could the cross be worth and what could the oval be worth? Well, let's have a think about this one. A little bit, I have to say, a trick question because the the cross well it could be worth 10 and the oval could be worth one or, or maybe it's something different M maybe the cross is worth six and the oval is worth five we don't know because there's two different shapes we need to work out one to be able to know what the other one's worth um but what about now hmm now what's the cross worth and what's the oval worth now pause the video and see what you can find out Well, let's have a think. Uh, if we look at just that bottom line, then we can see that two crosses uh, make 14. So each one must be worth seven. Seven and seven, of course, is 14. And that means that this cross must also be worth seven. So the oval, well, it must be now worth four. Um, I've got another type of challenge to show. Um, this time, I'm gonna call the, the red shape a dome. That the dome, and then plus the triangle equals 14. Now again, we, we don't know the value of each shape there. We don't know how much the dome is worth and how much the triangle's worth yet. 
have a look at this next line. Now, have a think, what's, what stayed the same from the top line to the second line, and what's changed? What are the two different things that have changed? Pause the video and just see if you can work out what stay, stayed the same and what's different. Okay, well let's let's have a little look. The um, the thing that's the, the same, I guess, is we've still got one dome and we've got this triangle that stayed the same as well. So this part, if you like, is the same. Um, and what's different? Well, here we've got one more triangle and the number sentence, well, it's it's worth more. It's 20, not 14. It's six more. So what does that tell us? Well, that actually tells us that that triangle there, that extra part, must be six. And of course, if that one's six, the other triangles are six. So, so the other dome, well, it must be what plus six equals 14. It must be worth eight. I'm going to move on to a different looking task, but one that uses those same skills. So have a look at this grid. And, the, and these are the styles of uh, challenges that you're going to come on to. So if you look at the numbers on the edges here, then the, the three shapes here in this row, they add up to make 15. The three here add up to make 16, the three here 18, and so on going downwards. So for example, these three shapes, when you add up their values, the answer is 20. Um, now what I want you to do this time is pause the video and have a think. You might try and work out the value of each shape, but at least think, where will you start first? Wh which line will you start with first when you're trying to work out the value of the shapes? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, now my suggestion is this. If you have a look at this one here, we've got one line, th this, um, this vertical line here, where we've got the same shape in, in one line. Um, so a little bit like the first example that we have, we, we know what, that this one must be 12 divided by these three shapes. So I actually know the value of the oval. It must be worth four. Now, now that I know that, I can start at different places, but I'm, I might look at this. I know that these two have to be worth four. That's four. So those two are eight. So if those two are eight, what must this shape be for this line to be worth 15? Of course, it must be seven. Now I know the value of those two shapes. I could, I could look, for example, I know this, this uh, one here is a seven and then the shape underneath is also a seven. So this line is worth 20. That cross, well, it must be worth six. Here is a really advanced kind of puzzle. It looks a bit smaller, but it's a bit more difficult because there isn't a line or a column made up all from the same shapes. So where do we need to start here? Have a look at this, see if you like this. It's just like the second example we looked at when we were introducing the task. So we know that the, excuse my phone there, we, we know that the rectangle and the triangle in total add up to make seven. The, the rectangle and the triangle is seven on, on this line here. Now, if we just look at this line here, we have to think, well, what stays the same and what's different? We've still got a, rect a triangle, sorry, but now we've got two rectangles. And now this line is worth nine. It's worth two more. So having an extra rectangle makes it worth two more. The rectangle must be worth two. Now that we know that, I guess we can work out the value of the triangle. Because if a, a triangle plus a rectangle is seven, then the triangle must be worth five. Now I can just look at the rest of the puzzle. And I could think, well, I could really look anywhere to work out the value of the circle. Maybe I'll, I'll look at the rectangle um, plus the circle equals 12. So the circle, well, that actually must be worth 10. Oh, I do like a good puzzle. So everyone, finding today's task. Again, we can go to home learning. You might be looking at this through uh, all home learning lessons or maybe home learning year three and four. Um, I've jazzed up this page. So on here, we've got the link to the video for the day will always be at the top and all the other videos you can see clearly there. And then underneath each video, there's the tasks for that day. So um, when you go to find today's video and you hit today's task, it will, uh, or the link underneath today's video, this will pop up here. So we've got three puzzles you could choose between having a go at puzzle A, B and C. So for each puzzle, so say for puzzle B, 
write down uh, the value of the semicircle and the square and the star. Uh, see if you can figure out how you know. Um, the answers are at the bottom just there. If you click on this is a link to the website that I actually use to generate these puzzles. And again, you can make all kinds of new puzzles. So you might try a different one. You can change it until you find a puzzle that you think is just right. Um, and um, when you've maybe had a go at a puzzle or a couple of puzzles, have a go at making one of your own as well. Um, and before you give it to someone else to try, make sure you take a photo of it if you're sending it in as a puzzle that's written but not answered yet because on Wednesday I might be able to use some of those puzzles for your challenges. So I hope you enjoy these puzzles. The examples that you send through will use them in the video after next so that will be first released on Wednesday. Really look forward to getting those examples through so we can use them and as ever enjoy this task. <laughs>